Yep. <laughs> but it, it obviously gave them a chance to relax a little bit more and to deal a bit better with the, with the pressure that I thought we'd able to exert on them in the first half. I thought it was a, an aggressive and, and quite controlled first half from our side. But of course, the first goal, which then produces a second, and then it was very difficult, and that's when we start putting players on the field. You know, we, people who've not really played in the first team, Jez, Amma, Franca. Uh, we lost that sort of intensity that we were able to do in the in the first half, and in the end, it became easy for them to see the game through. Well, I thought that at half time we realised that we'd, we'd done well against them in the first half. I think you know, they, they, they found it very, very difficult to find a way through us. And in actual fact, we were harassing them and, and making life uncomfortable for them. And we knew that our job was to do exactly the same in the second half. Because if we weren't able to do exactly the same in the second half, they might, with the quality they have, and as you say, the momentum and confidence they have, start to relax a little bit more. And, and pass the ball around a bit more freely than we'd allow them to do in the in the first half. And so goals, unfortunately, do that in matches. Um, and we mounted a, a little flurry at the end and, and showed that we, we we hadn't given up and that we still wanted it. But unfortunately, the, the goal, even the first goal, meant that what had given me so much encouragement to believe we're going to get a result from this game, it dissipated after that goal. Oh, Jack, can you just... Jack and then Alex. You spoke about the disappointment you felt after Newcastle and not wanting to do that again. It's a slightly different feeling after that game, but you know, the same sort of... Oh, yeah. No, no, I mean, really, if... If the game had ended with us continuing as we'd done in the first half and giving exactly the same performance and coming away with a with a result in the game, even a draw, I'd be sitting here really, really pleased with, with what I've seen. So, no, there was no disappointment today. Maybe that the young substitutes that you know we we'd like to think we can believe in and will help us to a different level didn't didn't show that. You know, they didn't do anything for us at all, really. We became much weaker when I made the substitutions. But unfortunately, uh, sometimes when the game is drifting away from you at two goals to nil, one is tempted to do that, uh, partly because we need to see these players as well. We need to really see if they are going to be able to, to help us out. But we, we certainly didn't get any help today. But we got a lot of help from the first, first group of players in the first half. I thought they were very good. Yeah. Injury, then do you know what that is? No, I don't at the moment. No, I'm afraid I don't at the moment. It, it's a bit chaotic after games. You know, people disappear. I have to disappear. I get pulled here and there to, to try and explain away defeats to people like yourselves. And as a result, I don't get as much time with the players as I would like. Well, that would be a bit different when, you know, we, if I was to bring on defenders, it wouldn't be the case because we have defenders who are tried and tested and, and we have two players who at the end of last season I thought were, were really two of our star players and in, in fact so much so that one got himself in the England squad and the other one is knocking on the door of the French squad. We still haven't got those back yet. When they come back, they'll, they'll improve us and give us not only more experience, they'll give us you know, the quality that those two will bring to the team. But at the moment, we don't have them, and so we are therefore a little bit reliant uh, on the bench in terms of our attacking play. 
on the players that have been brought into the club who as yet are tried and untested and this was a tough game for them to go into. Well, they need more time. I mean, the fact is, Frank, I feel sorry for Frank because, I mean, the fact is, for some reason, people have, you know, tried to imbue him with qualities that we can't expect to see from him. You know, he's, he's 19 years of age. He's got a handful of games in Brazil behind him. And now we're asking him to go out and play against Tottenham Hotspur, you know, the team that's running away at the top of the Premier League at the moment. You know, the, the intensity, the strength, the power, Everything, that's something we're going to have to work on and, and, and build up. There's no doubt that like so many young players, and Jez is another very good example, there's plenty of talent there. Um, and Jez, fortunately, I think he, he, he's a little bit further forward than some of the other ones you might mention because he, he has got a couple of games behind his belt and he, he is learning and he's learning on the job. But the major job for us is to keep working with these players in training and keep making certain they understand the or they need to understand in terms of our attacking and our defending. And most importantly, they need to understand how intensive and, and physical this, this league is. You know, you, you've really got to do a lot of running and you've got to be quite strong. And you've got to be prepared to withstand challenges and make challenges because it's not going to be a game where you can drift around and enjoy a spell on the ball. People don't give you time to have a spell on the ball. You've got to earn it somehow. And certainly I thought we did that very well in the first half. I thought that we, we earned our spells on the ball very well and we earned it by hard work, I would say good organisation and good team structure and certainly players who had the discipline and desire to, and aggression even to show Tottenham, yeah, we, we know you're a good team and we know you've got very good players but we're not going to just allow you to come here and do what you like with us. Okay, thanks very much everyone. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. okay.